two weeks is all it takes. Two weeks. I made a video a while ago where I talked about how it only takes two weeks to catch up to someone else who is in your class who seems like they are better than you. But this video is more about how it only takes two weeks to really reset your life. And I'm going to give you the exact way to do it in this video. But before we talk about the steps and the things you should do, there's something even more important than the steps. It's about your goals. It's about what you want. You see, in order for this to work, you have to really want it. You have to want what you're working towards. If, if you want to really get in shape, you have to really want it. It is hard to follow a diet and work out. It takes work, it takes discipline. If you want to learn math, you have to put in the work. It is hard to mentally grind every day for hours sometimes when you don't want to. Good things in life take work. The good news is you have the power to take action and that's the one thing that's gonna change everything. So once you decide what you want, what you need to do is basically start doing a little bit every single day. You might say, well, yeah, obviously, no, no, it's not that simple, you see. The morning is where it happens. By doing your thing, whether it be studying or you know, working out in the morning, it's going to make a huge difference because the morning is when your mind is fresh. You know, when you wake up in the morning, your mind is open. You see things differently. And so when you pick up a book like this one here, this is a really good one, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, or my book, which I'll leave links to both of these in the description. You, know, you read an inspirational book in the morning or a math book, it sinks in better, you know? And then you do a little bit of exercise. Or you pick your goal and then you work on it every morning. Not only that, by working on it in the morning, you are not taking time away from the rest of your day, right? A lot of times when we're trying to do something in life and you know, you're trying to get it done, you're like, well, I don't have time to do it because I'm already doing X, Y, Z, and I get it. I, get, I feel like people are so scattered in the world. We do so much today. I think we do a lot more now than we did in the past. I think people are multitasking way, way more. And I think that hurts people. I think single tasking is where you need to be. And you could do that every morning by taking, not taking hours out of your day, but taking hours out of your sleep, right? You're basically sleeping a little bit less or going to bed a little bit earlier, which an hour though, an hour minimum, you know, get up an hour every day earlier than normal and work on your thing and just do it every day for two weeks. If you can pull that off, you're already off to a great start. The hard part is how to pull it off, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. So have your goal and commit to working on it every morning for two weeks. And again, it's not going to take time away from your day, right? Because you're basically just cutting into your sleep time, which is horrible, but you will have time for everything else you're doing. And it's going to set the tone for the rest of your day. You know, when, when you get up in the morning and you read some Marcus Aurelius or you read a section from my book or and then you watch a video on YouTube, if, if it's productive, it's gonna make you feel good, right? But use your mind. I think reading is better than watching a video, okay? <laughs> so um, read something, do something, get some exercise, and, and work towards your goal, whatever it is, right? Whatever it is you're trying to get better at. On those days when you feel like you don't want to work, you know, what do you do? People just say, oh, just get up anyways, right? Discipline. Well, how, how, right, how? So first of all, you have your goal, right? And that, that should be a big inspiration. And you want to remind yourself of that goal every time you're feeling weak and you don't want to work, okay? So if you're sitting there and you're thinking like, ah, oh, I don't want to do math or whatever, just, just remind yourself of that goal, okay? Because that goal is what's really gonna drive you. And honestly, people who have big goals, 
a lot of times they fail, but at least they do pretty well, you know? They, they, they do all right. I've always had ridiculous goals. I've always wanted to be the best. When I was in college, I wanted to be the number one student in every single class. It was ridiculous. Why? I don't even know. Not even the, I, I don't even think I'm a competitive person. But I wanted to be the best because I thought, you know what? Why not? Right? Why not try to aim for aim high? If you aim for the highest you can and you fall short, you're still gonna do pretty well, right? You're still gonna do pretty well. You might not get there, but hey, <laughs> you did pretty well. You did pretty well. So get up every morning and you have that goal, that goal that you're gonna aim high for, right? And do it. Do that for two weeks. And when you're feeling stuck, um, think of your big goal. And if that doesn't work, realize that once you get started, you're going to be able to keep going many times. I call this momentum mastery. It's actually, it's actually in my book. <laughs> it's one of the principles I use. It's that sometimes when you're trying to do something, like you have something you have to do and you don't want to do it, realize that after you get started, it's okay. Like sometimes you don't want to do math. And you're like, ah, ah. But then you sit down and you do a problem, you know, and then once, once you go through it and you, you warm up, it's that momentum, it builds. Or like running, you run and after like five, 10 minutes, you start to get your second wind, as they call it. I don't know if it's real, but I know personally, after like five to 10 minutes of running, I start to warm up and it gets easier. So momentum, right? And in order to use that, you might say, well, I don't have momentum until I get started. You have to be self-aware. You have to realize that you're going to feel differently after activity X, Y, Z, right? Like at first it sucks, but then it's gonna get easier. Yeah, momentum mastery, that's another one you can use. Another one that I like to use uh, is, I call this, well, single tasking, the power of one. Right? Focusing on just one thing. So when you're getting up in the morning and you're doing something, try not to have it be scattered. Don't, don't say like, oh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna work on physics, chemistry, and math, and I'm also gonna, no, no, <laughs> it's one thing, one thing. And you know, one thing, one thing. I mean, if, if you can exercise and study in the morning, do both, that's great. Uh, it's ambitious. I, I would say start with one thing that really matters. I mean, go for a walk or something, sure, but um, it's going to be hard to have like a two-hour gym session and study for two hours. I actually used to know this guy. I don't want to derail too much because cause, cause he's an example of someone who was very disciplined. Uh, he was my friend as an undergrad. I forgot his name. He's a big guy. He's bald, really tough. He would get up at 3.30 in the morning every single day and he would go to the gym um, for like two hours, right? He was a former uh, military. And then he would show up to class and like be there all day <laughs> to like 5 p.m. and then go home and just full-time student, right? Worked out, school, that was rock solid. Uh, I don't know what happened to him. Discipline though, right? He was doing well, he was doing well in all his classes. If he can do it, you can do it. Anyways, two weeks is all it takes. If you can get up every single day for two weeks, work towards your goal, realize that when you don't wanna work, you have that momentum there, right? Once you get started, it's easier to keep going. Single task, focus on one thing. And, you know, throughout your day, if you're, if you're working on your goals, or, you know, even in the mornings, realize that there's only one thing you can do to get closer to your goals, right? And that's take action where action is the most important thing you can do, right? Because you can think about what you want to do, or you can think about what you've done, but in only one state of mind can you do things, and that's the present. So be present, take action, get up every morning and get to work, and I think it's gonna make a big difference in your life. Check out my book too, I'll leave a link in the description. I think it can help a lot of people. Stay strong.